The state of Ohio is in the final month of this year's budget. It will end balance thanks to $775 million in cuts. But those cuts are just the start. News 5's John Kosick joins us now. And John, come July 1st, that budget hole will be back. Yeah, that $775 million cut, Homa, didn't solve the problem. It simply bought us two months. Got us to July 1st when we have a new fiscal year and a new set of headaches. The good news from Ohio's Office of Budget and Management is they are predicting a $2.5 billion shortfall in revenue over the next 12 months starting July 1st. That's good news because if you took the $775 million the state had to cut for this month and last, that would come to $4.6 billion over the course of a year. The state is doing its part in seeking a 4% salary cut for cabinet directors, a pay freeze for exempt employees, and bringing back from a decade ago cost savings days. That is 10 days of unpaid leave spread out over a year's worth of checks, equaling a 3.8% reduction. That's only a start, though for this reason. Most of the budget uh, does not get spent on state agencies. The state is, in a sense, the bag man for most of the $69.8 billion biennial budget, with more than 85% of it going back out in checks to schools, higher education, Medicaid, and local governments. When Governor DeWine had to cut quick last month, he cut here, you telling know, those entities this. Our goal is to get through next year without any more cuts. I don't know that we can do that. But that certainly is our goal. In 2011, the budget hole was filled with cuts to local government, but they too are hurting right now. Senator Rob Portman says the state can help themselves by helping those local entities by getting the legislature to free up roughly $1.2 billion in CARES Act money set aside for them that's basically sitting with the state. Here's the point, John. We, we've got to get that money down to the local level. And the counties and the commissioners and the mayors are calling me and asking me about it, and, and I agree with them. Some of them have had to make, make cuts in public safety, which is a real problem right now if you don't have adequate resources for our police who are asked to do the impossible right now you know, to try to quell the, the violence uh, that's come out of some of these protests. But also our EMS personnel and our firefighters are under a lot of stress. So we've got to be sure and provide that funding. In all, $2 billion were sent to Ohio to help with local governments. Of that $775 million has been distributed already to counties and cities with more than 500,000 people. Cuyahoga County, for example, getting more than $200 million. But the rest, that $1.2 billion, still needs to be divvied up. And John, that money does come with restrictions. Technically, it must be spent on COVID-related expenses, but the Secretary of the Treasury has said that he would be okay if it was used for other things like public safety. But Senator Portman pointing out to me today, that still hasn't been put in writings, put into statute, and that's something that he would like to see cleared up.